What's up guys, in this video we will be talking about Web 3.0 and the evolution of the internet. I'm not a professional advisor, but let's get it on. All right, so this is a good article, guys, that you could go ahead and check out as you do your own research. But let's start off by defining what Web 3.0 is. So Web 3.0 is a possible future version of the Internet based on public blockchains. So it's a record keeping system best known for facilitating cryptocurrency transactions. Now, it is a concept of the next generation of Web in which users will be connected via a decentralized network and have access to their data. So this article will also teach us about the technologies that are anticipated to advance and change in the upcoming year. So this is a very good one. Now, let's talk about the evolution of the web, right? So the World Wide Web is a major tool used by billions of people to exchange, read, and write information and communicate with each other over the internet. And I know that you know that very well. So what is Web 1.0? So Web 1.0, guys, is the beginning of the World Wide Web. So no long and short, that's it. It's the beginning of the World Wide Web, period. All right, now Web 2.0, on the other hand, guys, is the business revolution in the computer industry. And as the article states, you can create thought and share it with the rest of the world, right? You can also post a video and make it available for millions of others to watch, interact with, and comment in web 2.0 now here comes web 3.0 so web 3.0 is also known as the semantic web or read write execute so it is in the era of 2010 onwards that alludes to the web's future and what is the meaning of that right so the web 3.0 guys is the third generation of internet based services or an intelligent web as they say now the key concepts of web 3.0 is number one it's the centralization so post anything on the web no approval from any central authority is needed and it has also a bottom-up design second guys is that it has the bottom-up design so rather than being written and controlled by any small group of experts the code was written in full view of everyone so basically it's transparent enabling maximum participation and experimentation from all sorts of developers all over the world. Now, this is who Web 3.0 is in cryptocurrency. So the decentralization and the bottom of design concepts apply so much with the cryptocurrency because we need that as much as we need the top security that the World Wide Web or the internet can offer right now, right? So basically, those are the things that I feel you guys need to know, like the summary of what the evolution of the internet Internet is web 1.0 web 2.0 and then web 3.0 and then who is web 3.0 with cryptocurrency so if you're new to the channel guys i hope you would consider subscribing click that bell that will always be notified when we upload new videos in the future i will see you on the next i'm out peace